First one out of the jig looks pretty deadly. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We are here in the cave right now getting ready. We're getting ready to go back down to the deer lease to go archery hunting again. And I have some interesting developments. So maybe you've already noticed this if you were watching really closely. You know, I was I was really disappointed after I'd missed the deer twice with my my trad bow. When I got home, I was just, man, I was kicking myself. I didn't get a deer the whole trip. I got sniffed out with my compound. And I really just got to thinking when I was home, like, God, how did I miss that bad? And then I was editing the footage for you guys, and I saw that as I was shooting my arrow, I was paying such close attention to the deer, um, and I could not film from directly behind me. I didn't have enough room. I couldn't film the deer. It was awkward. I put you guys off to the side in the corner, which was a blessing, because then I could see that the back of the arrow hit the blind, and it ricocheted up. And that gave me some hope that I don't suck that bad. Even though my second shot, I still missed. But uh, watching that as well, the deer ducked a ton. And uh, I actually would have hit the deer. I uh, would have hit it forward. Still was not a great shot. But I would have hit the deer forward in the shoulder. And it actually ended up hitting uh, the fence and then Rick shank up. So no injuries, no tracking deer, no disappointing thing like that. But when I got home, I started shooting arrows, shooting dozens and dozens and dozens of arrows and I figured out some things on my form and just drilling the target guys. I mean really getting good groups, feeling confident, nailing a tennis ball at 12, 15 yards. I mean really making some of the best shots that I've ever made and uh, being able to do it consistently with some form. So uh, the only problem is as I was shooting I heard a little tick a little tick in the bow and uh, that bow is compromised so made an emergency repair <sighs> emergency repair mama Rackley she helped me um, sew up some rawhide learn this little tip from Clay Hayes shout out to Clay Hayes on YouTube makes a lot of great bow making videos and tip videos um, and shout out to my mom for helping me uh, sew that up so I, I put that on there this morning uh, rawhide usually takes a while to dry out, get all the moisture out, but hopefully it is, uh, this one's going to be ready. If not, I made a backup. I had made this about a month ago, started working on it, uh, and finished it a few weeks ago, just right before the season, because I thought maybe a bow will go down, because a lot of my bows have broken. Uh, I cut the shelf into the wrong side, it's kind of a Frankenstein thing, whatever, but it's my first kind of semi-recurve with the Osage and it's 45 pounds, 26 inches. Uh, my draw is really at 27 to get that good hold. Pulling this bow a little harder than I should, but it is very, very quiet and that's what I love about it. I guess because it's it's recurved and it's just so tight there at the, uh, you know, at rest basically. I made a string for it last night. This bow is ready to go, uh, except for the arrows. The arrows uh, that I was shooting, assume, shooting the same ones out of both bows and that doesn't work a lot of times with bows. Arrows behave differently between different ones. I had to experiment, finally came up with an arrow that works. It's a 45 to 50 spine with a 125 grain uh, tip on it. Um, it's just got that nice flex. It goes around the riser nicely. I don't know, the bow likes it. The only problem is I only have a few of those arrows. Um, so we're making some more right now don't have time to even put a finish on these arrows. I'm going to put a little uh, a little bacon grease and some wax on them. Just kind of go old school. And we're just going to cut them here tonight and take them to the lease. Very last minute. But hopefully these will get some fresh blood on them soon. cameras but we're gonna try to go after that six-pointer again with the trad bell we prepped some arrows last night got everything ready came out here we've got about 15 minutes until we need to rush into the deer blind it's time to string this up for the first time since it's cracked 
and see if our repair is gonna hold. Please, please, don't break. Okay, successful bracing. Hear any cracks? Well, this is the test right here. Is when I hold it back. Which I worked on my shooting a lot when I got home from missing, and uh, I really feel like I've, that hold is important to me. I've got to actually like count it out in my head almost. Oh, I heard it. Did you guys hear it? So the crack was here. It went, it started to go below. Now it's down, it's down here. That's not good. God, I swear half the battle with this thing, with this challenge is, uh, is getting a bow that won't, won't break. I don't want to stress that any further than what it is. I'm going to grab the other bow. Jeez. This bow is powerful out of the gate. Please don't break. I mean, I basically hit the coffee cup right there. And I'm hoping you guys were listening. Because I didn't hear much on that one. Close enough. I like that you can barely hear this bow. Hit the cup. All right. All right, guys, we're in. It's about 90 degrees. Sweet. There's nothing I can do about that. String up the bow. And the feeder goes off here in about 30 minutes, so we made it in here, I think, in good time. I wouldn't want to be in here any earlier anyway, so this recurve's a little trickier to string up. I'm gonna have to stand up to do this.
He's about 20 yards away. He's munching pretty good, but he's, he's nervous to come back over here where I put the corn. He smelled me already. I'm just going to wait him out. If I get a shot, I get a shot. If I don't.
This is my worst fear. Like, worst fear realized.
Oh my god, he's down. Holy cow, he's down, guys. Holy cow, he didn't go. He didn't go for you. I got so, so lucky, guys. It was a little six-point battle there. But uh, I've definitely seen this deer. I've seen both of those deer before. Uh, both of them were um, a cold buck I wanted to get last year. And just uh, they just never came back around. But <sighs> I was patient, and it worked out, guys. It worked out. My first buck with the self-bow. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. I know he's not a giant. But guys, I'm gonna tell you, this is a bigger trophy to me than shooting that 10 point or the nine point that I was looking at or any of these other, you know, 140 plus inch deer out here. It's starting to get dark, I'm gonna go get the ATV, get this guy out of here. The hogs are all up in this, this area, so I'm gonna get out of here before it gets too dark. Oh my gosh, buddy. Oh my gosh, I could kiss you. Guys, I am elated right now. I could not believe that I am standing next to a buck that I got with a bow that I made myself. I accomplished the goal, man. I can't believe it. We got so lucky too. Thank you. I just clipped along. Uh, after I recovered the deer, I went back and I found the arrow. So the tip is broken off in there. Uh, we got a little more penetration than I thought we did. But, you know, staying up late last night, making these arrows, it really paid off. Because the other bow that I wanted to hunt with ended up cracking. And I, I wanted to make sure I had a backup. This right here, this is my trophy. Uh, it's not a big set of antlers. It's the memory. It's the memory of that hunt. It will be ingrained in me forever. Even if I completely miss that deer, again, that is the closest I have ever been to a whitetail deer. That smaller six point was seven and a half yards. I've ranged him. He was 11 and a half. So I just got lucky, guys. I got unlucky that the little one moved off. You know, he kind of heard something. Then he got around the blind, smelled me, and, and moved off. But this guy kind of moved in, took his place and gave me a shot opportunity. Wasn't a great shot, wasn't the shot I imagined. Again, it's like everything kind of goes out the window in the moment, it's part of it that I love. It's, there is nothing else going on in the world at that moment but your heartbeat, that deer, and just focusing on the situation. And I was close enough to, to you know, get a long shot. And what a journey, man, what a journey from learning how to make the bow, learning how to make the arrows to match the bows, obviously shooting, and just learning about all of the tradition uh, that goes along with it. Uh, you know, this is a huge accomplishment for me. Um, a couple of hunts ago, I wasn't sure if I was even gonna be able to do this again during the season. My confidence was a little thrown off, but I'm glad I got to review some footage, see that uh, it wasn't all me. I, I, 
my arrow hit the blind that first time and uh, it gave me some hope to, to go back after it. So better smash that like button for this one, y'all. This is a huge one for me and I'm going to continue uh, archery hunting uh, the rest of the season. Um, I'll probably go after some other bucks with my compound, give myself some other opportunities. I'm going to be doing some traveling to some other places too. I'm going to sleep so good tonight. This has taken so much dedication to be able to um, to make this work, make this happen, to give myself a chance. Uh, but I want to continue getting better at it so that when a big buck comes around one day and I've got a trad bow in my hand, I'm completely confident. But we got a little bit lucky this time, and that's okay with me. That happens sometimes in the outdoors, and I'm fine with it. So great management buck as well it seemed like those deer were brothers two six points this one i think is just a, a little bit older maybe a year older than the other one i'm lost for words guys thank you for tuning in i'm gonna go clean this buck i'm gonna take his hide i'm gonna take his sinew um and of course the meat and just really enjoy um the whole experience of this traditional hunting so if you guys want to get into it i will say it is it is difficult but so so rewarding just shooting the arrows is really fun but being able to go out there and hunt with the bow that you make is really something special so thank you guys for tuning in to all my outdoor adventures and uh and these hunting series this is really something i, I enjoy making for you guys uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next one.